a double-edged sword. Meghan's title warned to harm her intention to dip nose into U.S. politics. Meghan Markle's title could be seen as a potential danger to America in certain parts of the U.S. if she decided to run for office, according to an expert. Meghan has never spoken about a desire to run for office following her return to the U.S. in March 2020. However, many royal watchers and commentators believe the Duchess of Sussex may have an interest in dipping her toes in the political arena given her activism. U.S. brand and reputation management expert Eric Schiffer discussed whether Meghan could be successful in politics if she entered this field while retaining her royal title. For those on the right they are going to look at it as bad for America and a potential danger to America. For those on the left and the woke crowd she represents hope and the royal title is irrelevant. What matters is where she stands and that she can bring cameras to those issues. Similarly, Mr. Schiffer believes Meghan could be successful as a politician depending on whether she decides to run. He said, it depends upon the geography that she would represent. If you plugged Meghan into red state America she would get wiped out because many don't like her or view her negatively because of attacks on leaders on the right. But if you put Meghan in parts of California, for instance, that are liberal, that have younger voters, she could rock it. In May 2016, years before joining the royal family, Meghan branded Donald Trump divisive and misogynistic. The then Suits actress was asked on the nightly show with Larry Wilmore how she thought the momentum surrounding Mr. Trump, then running to become the Republican presidential candidate, could be stopped. She said, yes of course Trump is divisive. Think about just female voters alone. I think it was in 2012, the Republican Party lost the female vote by 12 points. That's a huge number and with as misogynistic as Trump is and so vocal about it, that's a huge chunk of it. You're not just voting for a woman if it's Hillary because she's a woman, but certainly because Trump has made it easy to see that you don't really want that kind of world that he's painting. Meghan remained politically neutral as a senior member of the royal family, between May 2018 and March 2020. After officially stepping back as a full-time working royal alongside Prince Harry, Meghan spoke on various occasions about voter registration and the importance to cast the ballot. In September 2020, just a few weeks before the U.S. presidential election which eventually saw Joe Biden becoming the new leader of the states, the Duke and Duchess appealed to Americans to use their right to vote in a video for Time 100. Harry urged U.S. voters to reject hate speech misinformation and online negativity while Meghan called the upcoming vote the most important election of our lifetime. The couple didn't endorse any candidate in their message, but the video was still interpreted by some, including Republican Congressman Jason Smith, as an interference into the U.S. democratic process. Prince Harry is just as in love with Meghan Markle as he was when he initially proposed to her but the couple are yet to find passion career-wise, a royal expert has said. The Duke got down on one knee four years ago, on November 27, 2017, and the pair tied the knot a year later in a £36 million ceremony at Windsor Castle. The Sussexes stepped down from royal duties and left their UK base at Frogmore Cottage and moved to California last year. Ever since then, the pair have been at the centre of controversy but throughout all the trials and tribulations they still have a strong foundation, according to Kinsey Schofield, founder of Today for Daily. She says there are several acts of devotion that show the pair's love for each other, both in candid photos and in controversial interviews. On March 8 this year, Meghan and Harry filmed an explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey, addressing allegations of racism in the monarchy and sharing Meghan's battle with mental health. Kinsey told the Daily Star, the Oprah Winfrey interview was very telling in the sense that Prince Harry grew up very resentful towards media, never airing dirty laundry, and super protective of his privacy.